Yo, so I didn't post a muted. video how to do the radiator hose in my car. I had to bring a refrigerator to my house today because my fridge died last night after I posted one video. I went out to get a car late bar my last video and it was melted. Everything in the fridge was destroyed. So today, I went and got a fridge, tried to put it in my Ford Taurus wagon. I do not drive, but my mom drives me around and stuff. And I also have friends that drive me around, so we put it in my wagon. It wouldn't fit. It wouldn't even fit in, it was too wide. So then I got my friend Susan to come and bring it, and she dropped off today. And I'm not supposed to lift that much because... Years and years of years ago... I got my ridge broken on both sides, and they never healed right, and I have to go and get titanium plates between to hold the ribs together, and I never bothered to do that yet, so I gotta get that done, but long story short, I'm not supposed to be lifting a lot of weight, but I did, because I live in a mobile home, and I had to carry the fridge up the steps with a hand cart, but still lift it to pull it up the steps. And I'm in a little bit of pain today. I do apologize for not posting the video of doing the radiator hose. But I promise I will have it done tomorrow. And I will have the video of the car that got destroyed. But I promise you all, I'm good. I just am in a little bit of pain right now from the ribs and stuff. And from the AC, all the chaos today of hustle and bustle and going to the what do you call it what's the name of that store the home depot sorry if you hear my rocking chair in the background but i do apologize if you all were preparing for that video and that lesson i promise i'll teach it tomorrow thank you all for tuning in and you all have a blessed and safe day Look forward to seeing you in the video tomorrow, how to do the auto repair, and I will teach you how to change a radiator hose. It's very simple, and I'll also show you the car that I'm rebuilding. Thank you. Shut up.